It's time for the Mike Drop on the show by going deep on one topic affecting our community in hopes we can all learn a little more. A lawsuit was filed yesterday in federal court accusing 16 universities of taking part in a price fixing cartel, conspiring with each other to limit financial aid to students in need. The suit alleges the institutions engaged in the practice despite claiming to be need blind, meaning that the financial aid needs of an applicant should have no bearing on admission. Now, in my mind, cartel, that word is reserved for oil conglomerates, drug syndicates, and illegal gambling operations. Entities designed to make money, not institutions of higher learning. If true, this would be bad enough, but wait, there's more. The suit further alleges that nine of the schools, including Columbia University, my alma mater, and our own Georgetown, favor wealthy applicants with, among other metrics, special considerations paid to the children of wealthy donors. Now, you want the kids to learn? We gotta earn, allegedly. As a group, the universities named in the lawsuit are thought of as some of the best we have. MIT, Notre Dame, Yale, Penn, to name a few. Elite universities offering the best educations in the land, along with access to the right people, because that's what's being sold here, right? The opening of doors of opportunity to a select few who can afford them. You guys remember the Varsity Blues scandal from a few years back that Georgetown was caught up in as well. Bribes were paid to get kids into school. However, this is actually worse. This is systemic. Now, this ain't my first college rodeo. We all assume that this is the kind of thing that happens. The affirmative action on college campuses that we don't talk about. Legacy admissions, students who don't have the grades but whose last name is on an endowment or on a building. The difference here though is the collusion. The image of 16 tweed wearing heads of admissions sitting around a table discussing ways to make money while cutting financial aid to those who need it. And according to this lawsuit, nine of them just flat out said, we want moneyed students on our campuses. And this little cartel has been doing this for almost the last 20 years, allegedly, in violation of federal law. Now, race-based admissions has been challenged at the Supreme Court level, and they will be again. But you know what never seems to be challenged? Wealth-based admissions. Like I said, we all assume, expect, and accept that it's happening that the privileged buy their way at the expense of others, and it's just fine. But is it really? Maybe a negative judgment in this case will change admission policies for the better. That's my selfish hope. School planning has already begun in my house, but my daughter won't have her last name on the library, maybe a sign at the bus stop. We just got to do this show for another 18 years or so.